my channel is never going to be Hermes unboxings, Dior unboxings, Chanel unboxings. My friends, I am back from the living dead. I have missed you guys. I've been out of action because my friends, when I got home from my gorgeous Hawaiian holiday with my son, I got COVID and let me tell you, it kicked my ass and I have been out of action. I would say now for a week and a half, I am still not a hundred percent, but I am here and I'm going to do my utmost, my friends, to make sure that this, what I bought in Hawaii, try on haul is, well, that I don't look dreadful or sound dreadful because if it's really bad then I may have to scrap the whole video and start over again and that will mean no videos for two weeks. And so my friends let us begin with this cute little outfit I have on today which is by Anthropology. I am a huge fan of Anthropology. I love shopping Anthropology when I'm overseas in the States of course because we don't have an Anthropology anthropology here in Australia. It's such a beautiful brand. You get that designer feel without the designer price. And once again, I lucked out because while I was over there, they were having a take a further 40% off sale. I always shop the sale section because I am a savvy shopper and I want to get more bang for my buck. And yeah, I don't particularly follow trends. So more often than not, there is always a beautiful collection of clothing in the sale section. I'm rambling, I know, but this top is very simple. It's a just one shoulder ribbed tack top. I don't know what has gotten into me, but all of the sudden I am into one shoulder tops and I happen to pick up about six. So just giving you guys fair warning that you will be inundated with one shoulder tops in this haul. It's just what I'm into, okay? All right, so yes, I got one in white. I also got one, of course, in black. I'm so glad I got the black and the white. It's a ribbed fabric cotton. I think it may have a little bit of elastane, but I got both of these in a size small. These were down to $19.95 and then a further 40% off. So it's just an absolute steal. I mean, it's crazy. I just think that they're beautiful. I really do. I find them so flattering and I know I'm going to wear the hell out of them this spring summer. So I got the white and the black and the pants that I'm wearing are a wide leg culotte. You can't really see, but I will pan down with the camera later on to give you guys a full look. But these are extremely wide and I have been on the hunt for a pair of pants exactly like this because I thrifted a vintage pair and I cannot wear them because they are absolutely tiny and they're just so uncomfortable. I, I need to sell them. I was so upset because they are just so dreamy. And so when I saw these pants in a beautiful linen cotton blend with an elastic waist pocket and then this extra wide leg and the culotte length. I couldn't believe my luck. It was just pure perfection and I think they look amazing with this top, whether I wear it with the white one or the black one. I can wear a naked sandal or an espadrille or a little kitten heel and you know, there's so many ways that you can dress up or down these two pieces. So I just love, 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 love these pants. These pants were down to 60. I think they were close to $200. So 60 with the minus 40% off, but they're beautiful. I absolutely love them. And again, just another piece I'm going to be wearing a lot this summer. So let's continue with anthropology. Okay, so I picked up another off the shoulder top. This one is in a stripe. Another, another um, common thread that is in this haul is stripes. I am stripe obsessed. So it's a horizontal black and cream, or is it white? Cream stripe. The one side has kind of a little cap sleeve, which I thought was beautiful. It's so sweet. I loved it so much. And then you have this tie detail. You could do it in a bow if you like, but I prefer to just tie it and maybe have one thrown in the back, one in the front, tuck it in with denim or a, a denim skirt or even these pants. Again, it's so simple, but I think it's just gonna look so statement and striking. 
and I love it. Now I got this in a size small. It was down to $19.95 from $68 with a further 40% off. So this is a cotton modal fabric. If you are not familiar, modal is one of the most beautiful cotton blends that you can wear. It feels so soft and silky on the skin. It truly is a beautiful cotton. And I just loved it. I love this top. It's so cute. Okay, another off the shoulder top. But this one is more dramatic. I absolutely love the fabric of this. It looks like a, a crepey type of fabric, but it's a cotton, it has a little bit of stretch in it. And then all on the one side, it's got this ruffle detail on the sleeve and all down the bodice of the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, of course, one shoulder. I thought it was stunning. Again, dress it up or down. It would look gorgeous with a full midi skirt as well, just to give it some drama. I don't know, I just absolutely loved it. I got this one in a small as well. The original price on this one was 88. It was down to 29.95 with a 40% off. It's just, it's just beautiful. It really is a beautifully made top. All of them. I just love everything from Anthropology. So, I mean, that's one, two, three, four one shoulder tops. I mean, I think I may have taken it a little bit too, too far, but I love it. I love it. The last item I got from Anthropology is this cute little strapless top. So it has a beautiful soft ruffle and it has this bubble type of bodice and I just love that. I think this would look so good with a midi skirt but equally gorgeous with a pair of denim. You know, you could dress it up or down. I love strapless tops. I find them so youthful and fresh and they're a great way to get an effortless tan when you're out and about in the spring and summer and just always a flattering feminine silhouette. And I don't have very many strapless tops, so I loved this one. I don't know if it came in any other colors. I just saw the black and this one was originally 68 down to 1995 with the 40% off. And so that my friends was everything from anthropology. Okay, I picked up one pair of jeans and let me tell you, I wasn't particularly on the hunt for new denim. I do have a lot of denim, but I don't love all of it. And so following this video, I'm gonna be clearing out my shoes, my bags and my wardrobe because I have way too many things that I feel are not me anymore. And so I need a big clear out, you know, put away all this new and beautiful stuff that I bought. And moving forward, I'm very particular about my style, whether I'm shopping or thrifting. So I was after a pair of denim that was very relaxed and baggy, but, it needed to have a high waist that was cinched in and flattering. I don't want a real boyish looking pair of jeans. I don't mind the baggy, but I want it to show off my waist. And I came across these Levi's jeans, would you believe, in Ross. Absolutely amazing that I found them there to begin with because they're so gorgeous. The wash is gorgeous. They are a zip fly which is great i prefer but look at that wash and the leg i mean it's long i'm gonna need to crop them that's for sure but it's a gorgeous baggy style of jean they are actually called the 94 baggy jeans a mid-rise loose through the hip and thigh straight leg because i have a short torso a mid-rise is perfect for me because sometimes a high rise comes like underneath my boobs and it just does not look good and it's very hard to pair tops with a waist that high so i absolutely love these these were a steal 16.99 i mean are you kidding me i got these in a size 27 that is generally my size in all levi's jeans and yeah they're perfect i can't wait to wear these this summer i think they're beautiful i'm just so in love with the wash and the style there's a little bit of distressing on the knees as well and the back is gorgeous they were just a treasure find also from Ross, I picked up a pair of Adidas trackies and lo and behold, these are actually from the women's section. All my trackies, my Adidas trackies are from the men's section. I just 
always loved the men's Adidas trackies more than the women's, but I don't know, I came across these in the women's section. They're a size small and I just loved the way they looked on me. I do have a gray pair of Adidas trackies, but with a black stripe, not a white stripe. So they are different and I just love how they look on the bum. They have zip pockets in the front. They have, you know, a baggy leg and this elasticized cuff on the hem. No zips, no tapering. It was just different to what I have. The little Adidas branding there at the front. And I just thought these were great for $24.99. And yeah, I am an Adidas girl through and through. I also picked up this gorgeous Adidas sweatshirt from Ross as well for $24.99, unbelievable. With the kangaroo pockets and the Adidas branding on the front, the black and white colorway, I think it's so cool. You can wear it around the house, but then you can dress it up with denim and sambas, even denim shorts or a denim skirt. It's just a great piece. It's just that classic sweatshirt or jumper, sloppy joe, whatever it is you want to call it, with the kangaroo pockets that's so cozy and I just love the whole Adidas vibe. So I thought that was an absolute treasure find. This one's in a small as well, so were the tracksuit pants. Okay, I was not expecting to pick up anything from H&M because, well, H&M is worldwide, we all get the same stock. And I felt that, well, what's the point in shopping H&M in Hawaii when I can just shop it at home? But I did go in there and have a look and I came across this gorgeous cami. So I need a white one and a black one. And when I saw this, I loved it so much because of the shape. It's so hard to find a cami that's in this little swing cropped shape. They're usually long, or they're elasticated. I have not come across many camis from the high street that I like. So that is why I picked up this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful with the lace detail. It's even got a little bit of a button detail at the front as well. This was only $7.99. And so I took it because I've never come across a cami that I like in H&M, never. And yeah, I just thought it was beautiful. Now I need to get a black one. The other top I found in H&M is this gorgeous one-shouldered stripe top in this beautiful silky fabric. I love it. I love the stripe. I love the colorway. I love the one-shoulder. I love the draping of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little on the big side, but it was the only one they had left and I could not leave it behind. I think this is actually a large. Yes, it is a large. A medium would have been perfect, but it was only $8.99 and it still works. It looks so nice on and I just could not resist these two pieces from H&M. Okay, so let's move on to what I found in Marshalls. This is my last one shoulder top. This makes six. Six one shoulder tops in one haul, my friends. Ooh, I, I, I don't know what to say to you. I am just really into this silhouette at the moment. And when I saw this top, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully the little print is showing up in the camera because it's so pretty. It's in a beautiful, soft, bluey gray, a little bit of a tan and this creamy color. And it's a very soft, muted floral. And the one shoulder is a long sleeve. It has a ruffle detail and a cinched in little cuff. And then the bodice is drapey and soft and cropped and just absolutely stunning. And this was ridiculously priced as well. I mean, $7 was reduced, 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 and I got it for $7. And it's by the label EN Saison. Never heard of it, but I thought it was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful top. Very chic, very romantic. I, I can't wait to style it up. I think it's beautiful. I also picked up this cute little halter neck striped top from Marshalls. I love the black and white. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there is a little bit of texture in this top and I thought that was cute. This one I got in a size medium and this is by Happily Grey and I paid 
$12.99 and I just love it. I think it's a staple. I think you could pair it back with so many different things. I love the black and white. I love the stripe. I love the neckline. You could wear this with jeans, with trouser pants, with short skirts, whatever it is, you can dress it up or down. It's just such a beautifully made little top and I love it. I also picked up this cute little thing from Marshalls as well in a gray and white stripe. I love the high neck, love it so much. Love that it's kind of sleeveless, but it's not like a tank. You know, it's, it's um, you're all covered, you're not showing much skin except on the arms. And I just love that cut. It's cropped. It's that stretchy ribbed fabric. This one is by Sincerely Jewels. It's also, I think, a large and I got it for $9.99. I thought both of these tops were so, so, so good. I was just looking in the sales section. I came across them. I loved the stripe. I loved the shape. Even though they weren't as small, I could tell that they would fit because I don't really bother with sizing. To me, that looks like, yeah, that'll fit me. And I just love both. And I thought they were an absolute steal from Marshalls. And the final piece from Marshalls is this cute little sloppy joe. Now this is not a knit. This is in a soft cotton modal fabric. Again, that modal just feels so amazing on the skin. And the reason I took this was so that I can wear it at home. When I'm working from home, I can wear something like this and it feels so soft on the skin. But if I need to run out, I not only feel good, I look pulled together as well. It's just a beautiful top. I love the high neckline. Just a beautiful, simple, classic cut long sleeve tee. And I loved it. And this one was only $19.99. And I got this one in a small and it's from Workshop. Just a great piece. The last piece of clothing is a blazer that I found from Nordstrom Rack. And it's a pinstripe blazer, which I don't have, believe it or not. I have about 30 pieces of outerwear just on this rack in front of me, and I never had a pinstripe blazer. So when I saw this, I just thought, yes, I need that, I want that, and this is the, the quintessential summer blazer. It's gorgeous. White, black pinstripe, beautiful button cuff detail, single button closure, pockets that actually work, a split in the back that hasn't been untucked yet. And it's just beautiful. It's just so classic and this was so cheap as well. So the original price of this one was 139 US and I got it for 22.49 and this one is by Adriana Papel. What an absolute steal. Okay, I turned down the brightness a little bit because it was getting way washed out. Okay, so I got this in a size medium, even though there was a small there, because I want that, you know, oversized fit. And although this is probably not the best way to show you what this looks like, I'll do a I'll do a cutaway for this. Hopefully you can see how how gorgeous it is. It's just beautifully made. It feels expensive. It's just just a beautiful beautiful blazer for $22.49. I mean, what is that? That's ridiculous. That's the clothing done. Let us move into shoes. Yes, my friends, I finally found a pair of Adidas Sumbers. The black ones, but nonetheless, they are the Sumbers that I've been after for so long. It was my son that found these for me. He was shopping on his own and he rang me and he said, Mum, come, I found them. I found your Sumbers. And I was wrapped. I love them. I think they're so cool. If I found the white, I would have got them as well, but no luck. I just can't believe I actually found the black ones because no one, no one has them. They're so hard to get a hold of. I've already worn them once. Let me tell you, black trainers are not as easy to style as white. Or maybe it's just that I'm so used to seeing white trainers on my feet that when I put on a black trainer, I kind of think, oh, wait a minute, does that look wrong? Yeah, it, it takes some getting used to, but I love them. They're classic, timeless, and 
I look forward to styling these up. I also picked up a pair of Converse, a maroon pair because I have been wanting a maroon pair for so very long and yeah I'm a Converse girl, I have so many pairs and now I have a maroon to add to my collection. I think these are going to be great in the winter time with a cute little burgundy bag as well. Okay so these Converse actually came with black laces but I swapped them out for white ones. I bought a few pairs of new white laces and yeah I have another pair of Converse a navy pair that also have black laces and I've swapped those out for white as well I just think that white laces look so much better than black now I have a maroon pair of high top Converse and the last pair of shoes I got my friends are these cute little kitten heel sandals they are leather they are by the brand called Vionic I'd never heard of them before. I got them on sale. They were reduced, reduced, reduced. And the final price of these were $34.98. I got these from Nordstrom Rack. They are so cute on. I love this detail at the front. And let me tell you, they are so comfortable. These are the most comfortable heels I have ever worn. Look at the bottom of these heels they're amazing and i liked the little wooden heel i thought they'd make a great little addition to my summer wardrobe when i want to you know wear a heel and look a little bit more feminine and dressed up i just thought they were so cute so cute okay how am i going my friends my voice feels like it's about to give out all right hopefully it's not too annoying i found this bag from a store called echo town at the ala moana center now Echo Town is a consignment store and they have luxury designer bags and accessories and shoes and they also have an affordable section of pre-loved bags as well. So when I saw this I couldn't believe my luck because I had been looking to buy this bag online months ago but for some reason I just didn't go ahead with the purchase. Now I paid 35 US for this bag. This bag is by P. JWP, hold on, hold on, let me make sure I'm saying this right. JWPEI, this is not leather, but it's beautifully made, and I think this is just a gorgeous bag for the summertime. I was really missing something like this in my bag collection. I wanted a summer bag, but nothing too boho and straw like, and I wanted something very chic, but something that was particularly for summer. And this is just beautiful. I love the color of this faux leather and I love the contrast of this canvas. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I also love the structure of the bag, the shape of it. It's got a little bit of gold hardware. It's absolutely beautifully made. Look, it's not very malleable, I will say that. So it might be a bit tricky getting things in and out of this bag. I'm not sure how much you can fit in here, but definitely a phone, a wallet, your keys. I think it's such a beautiful bag. And so, of course I took it. I think it looks gorgeous worn crossbody. It's so nice. I think it looks so much more expensive than what it actually is. So it's just funny how it's found its way to me. I thought that was great for $35. Gorgeous. Okay, I have three more bags to show you and they are all by Tory Burch. Yes, my friends, I bought three bags from the one designer. Now that's, that's not normally something I would do. It's very out of character for me. But what is even more out of character for me, my friends, is buying a designer bag at full retail price. I mean, I don't know what's happened to me, but let me tell you, I had heart palpitations when I made the purchase of these three bags and one belt by Tory Burch. But anyway, I'll get into the story in a minute. Let's start off with what started this whole love affair with Tory Burch. Can someone tell me why nobody is talking about Tory Burch? Because I think she's someone that needs to be talked about because I think she does amazing bags and shoes and belts. The sales assistant in Tory Burch did say to me that they consider their brand, Tory Burch, attainable luxury fashion. So I would say if you are one who loves designer goods, 
but cannot afford the price tags of Chanel, Hermes, Gucci, Christian Dior, and all these luxury, high-end labels, then consider Tory Burch because I happen to think that she is very underrated. Okay, I was in Nordstrom at the Alamoana Centre and I came across a sale section of designer bags and in that selection I found this Tory Burch bag and this Tory Burch bag. There were others there but these are the two that caught my eye and I couldn't decide between them. I thought, oh, I really love this one because it's the absolute perfect bag to take when I travel. Because of the raffia detail on top of the leather on the one side of this bag and the camera shape, it makes for the most perfect summer travel bag. That's why I loved that one. But then when I saw this, I just loved the shape and I loved the color. Now the bag looks beautiful closed up like this. But if you unbutton the bag, it creates a slightly different shape. And I love that as well. I love that you have the option of, you know, carrying it like a little bucket bag or closing it and giving it a different shape. Pops out the sides a little bit. It's just different. I also loved that it had a top handle because you guys know that I am a top handle bag kind of girl. And it also had a crossbody as well, which is in a slightly different leather than the top handle. So this is a darker leather and that is a lighter leather. So this was my dilemma, my friends. Which one do I get? My son just said, Mum, get both. They're on sale. Get them. Now you've got to remember that this is all US dollars, okay? Now this bag is called the McGraw Binding Small Bucket Bag. It retailed at 348 US, but I paid, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 248 or 258. It was around about $100 off. And I think it's just such a beautiful bag. It's totally my aesthetic. You can fit so much inside. If I come up close, hopefully the sun won't blind all the detail of this bag, but you can see that there is so much room in there and hopefully you can see how beautifully crafted this bag is i just love the gold hardware on this it's it's a matte gold it's beautiful the tory birch branding isn't huge whereas the other ones had a much larger kind of anagram of the tory birch branding which i wasn't really that into but whether i wear this bag as a top handle or a crossbody i think She's beautiful. I just love that I've discovered this beautiful designer and hopefully you like it as well. This bag, I mean, it's just so gorgeous. I wore it while I was over there. It's a camera bag with a raffia detail. Again, the small branding at the front. The back of this bag has a flap which is perfect for your mobile phone. Now inside this bag, it's so roomy, camera bags are, and this one was originally $369. Like I said, it was about $100 off. This one's called the McGraw Raffia Camera Bag. So I think it's a beautiful piece and I'm so glad that I now have a gorgeous bag that I can take on all my holidays and it will look just amazing with every outfit. I also think that it's quite timeless and so as the years go by and I continue my travels, I still think this bag will look great. I don't think it's gonna date. I love the gold hardware on the chain on the bottom of the bag. It's a crossbody strap that's adjustable. The gold on this is also in that beautiful matte kind of, oh, it's beautiful. Her bags are stunning and I'm so glad that I discovered her. I think both of these bags are a beautiful addition to my bag collection. Now, I do have a lot of white bags and I need to get rid of a lot. I need to keep maybe just one or two and that's what I'm gonna do 
in the next couple of weeks is go through all my clothes, bags and shoes with you guys, do a good clear out. Listen, when it comes to clothes, I'm not really a snob at all. I don't care where my clothing comes from, whether it's the high street, whether it's a designer piece that I found on sale or whether it's two bucks from an op shop. I don't care because I know that if I'm drawn to a piece, I usually get it because I know how to style it and I can make it look expensive. It's just, I have an eye for clothing and so I know that I'm always gonna be okay. I feel that when it comes to bags and shoes, I've said this many times before on my channel, but when it comes to bags and shoes, they need to be modern and current. You can't wear dated shoes and bags. It's just not a good look. And I am the kind of girl that would much rather invest in bags and shoes, of course, within my means. I am not one of these girls who lives beyond their means and goes and buys something from Dior or Chanel and puts it on the credit card and worries about it later. No, you will never see me do an Hermes haul week after week and be showing these Hermes bags and Chanel bags and Dior bags. I think that is absolute madness. I really do. I think it's absolute madness. Girls are coming onto YouTube and filming these unboxings as though these bags are affordable. They're showing them to you like you can go out and buy one too. That is just so crazy to me because the bags that they show are like a down payment on a mortgage. Seriously. I mean, just one Hermes bag, my friends, is like $20,000. And I'm just finding that's a real thing at the moment on YouTube. And I find it ridiculous and sad and boring because they've all got the same bags and they're all going on about these Hermes and everyone's got the same Dior tote and everyone's got the same Hermes shoes and everyone's got the same YSL huge bag. And this, this is not, style or fashion to me. This is just jumping on a bandwagon because you saw it on someone else and because you're an influencer you can afford it. I am not the kind of person that lives beyond my means but I'm also a sensible shopper regardless of whether I have money or not. You're never going to get that on my channel my friends. I'm just letting you know right now my channel is never going to be Hermes unboxings, Dior unboxings, Chanel unboxings. Never gonna happen, even if I become very successful. It's not gonna happen because I would never lose my mind and just buy bags every week as though it's like picking up a bag from Zara. I mean, it's just, oh my, I find it absolutely crazy and I want you guys to understand that although they are trying to normalize it, it's not normal. These bags are incredibly expensive and are not affordable. And unless you are earning a six figure income, and I mean the high six figures or even a seven figure income, this is just not in the realm of possibilities. And you know, these bags were a huge deal for me. Okay, because I'm used to buying things on sale and I'm used to thrifting vintage bags and buying consignment. And so this was a splurge for me. So anyway, each to their own, but anyway, enough of this rambling, I'm going off on a tangent. But anyway, I just decided to splurge and I bought both because I couldn't decide which one I liked. And I think they're both beautiful for different reasons. But I also bought from Nordstrom in the same sale, this belt, because when I saw it, I just fell in love with it. I thought this is the perfect belt to wear with denim. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love the, the canvas and the navy leather, the Tory Burch branding. It's kind of there, but it's not in your face. I feel it's very discreet. It's a reversible belt, so you can wear it in this gorgeous yellow tone as well. But I just love navy. I wear navy a lot and a beautiful belt is such a gorgeous accessory and really can elevate a look just as much as a shoe. And I am a person who loves to wear belts, not with everything, but I do love a beautiful belt to cinch in my waist. And I thought that this belt was absolutely stunning. I just love it. And so the name of this belt is T Monogram Jacquard Belt. This retailed at one 
$1.98 and I think I got it for $1.38 or $1.28 or something like that. So on Kalakawa Avenue, there is a gorgeous Tory Burch boutique store. I have gone in there and even last year, I remember being in there and falling in love with a bag, but I didn't get it because it was just way too expensive. They do have a few sale items in the boutique store as well, but the bag that I saw and fell in love with was not on sale. And it wasn't all that expensive compared to the other bags, but it was this adorable navy bag that matches the belt. When I saw this, I fell in love with it. I thought that is adorable. It's got a top handle. It also has a crossbody strap and the inside is that gorgeous yellow leather exactly like the belt. And I thought to myself, am I really going to be that girl that wears the matching bag and the matching belt? And I thought, yes. Yes, I am. Why not? Why the hell not, my friends? Because it's so gorgeous. I love navy. I don't know if I've mentioned that already, but I do. I love it. I think it's one of the most understated colors. It's so classic. It's so chic. It's so timeless. This bag I can actually wear throughout the year. It can actually fit everything I need. I can wear it just with the top handle or I can wear it crossbody with or without the belt. Imagine wearing a pair of jeans, a classic white shirt, this belt, this bag and a pair of sneakers. That is so simple, so gorgeous, so understated. I just decided, you know what Joe, you deserve it. It was only $2.98. So this was very different for me, very out of character for me and I am so glad I did it. I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous and I had to have it. And I am so happy with my four Tory Birch pieces. So that my friends is everything I bought back from my trip. It's, it's not too excessive, but there is a good splash of new pieces coming into my wardrobe that I can have fun styling. It's kind of creating a whole new layer to my personal style as well. And yeah, I'm really excited about my outfits moving forward, especially once I get these clear outs done, the bag, the shoes, the clothing, then I'll know exactly what I want to wear, how I want to wear it and how I want to shop moving forward. So hopefully my friends, this was enjoyable to watch in spite of this horrible horsey voice that I have and hopefully I don't look too awful and you enjoyed all the pieces I brought back. So that is a wrap on this video. Please come and follow me on Instagram for daily outfit inspiration. I post my outfits every single day. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel for videos every week. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope I see you in my next one.